this branch is an ash tree branch and it's fallen from this huge, huge, huge ash tree. Sadly, the chainsaw crew is going to have to come and take this ash tree down. It's too dangerous. It is literally only being held up by bits of this ivy. I was trying to rescue it and chopping the ivy off. As you can see, this is it and it's rotten. It's home to loads of life. But I just pulled that up. Whoops, sorry, Inca. This ivy is holding it together. You can see it's rotten there. It does have new growth here, but it's rotten from there all the way around to here. So that's like two thirds of the way around the trunk. And it's a big tree. And it's already taken to leaning over in that direction. You can see the split in the bark is beginning to creep up the side. So it is such a massive tree. Probably five stories high. Massive. But if it fell in this direction it would take out loads of young trees that I've been encouraging to come on and hollies and baby beech trees and, and cherry trees and things like that. So they're going to take the crown down and slowly bring it down and leave the rest of it standing from there. So all of that upwards is going to go and then there downwards is going to stay for the insect life. And that way it will give life in its death to a lot of insects and birds and all kinds of things. And if it does fall when it's only at that height, it's not going to damage very much. But this beech tree, this huge, I don't know who they're barking at. Hey lads, come on, nobody's there. Oi, leave it. I don't know what they're barking at. Anyway, this beech tree will not mind. It will brush out, it'll fill out a lot in its camp and, ca uh, canopy when this ash tree comes down. So I'm very grateful that this beech tree is planted so close to this ash tree. You can see they're very close together. So when people say you need to plant trees far apart, it's not strictly true. This is an ash tree and a beech tree and they're very close together. So I tend to plant trees relatively close together, having seen how good they are here. Here you can see there's a two ash trees right there. And then over there, there's a beech tree. This is a holly right here. We had a huge lime tree there, but Storm Darwin toppled her. And then here, around here, are some of the holly trees that I've been encouraging. Because they have more life than, uh, they give more life to diversity than laurel does. Or ivy does, for that matter. So here are some of my little baby hollies that I've been encouraging over the last 20 years. Slow growers which is why a lot of people don't plant them. But they're a lot more beneficial to the environment than laurels or ivy because they protect nesting birds, they feed birds and pollinators. So there's many different things. And you can see there's some insect galls there. So whoever makes that, somebody's gonna eat anyway. And this is a laurel here. 
But if you look down here, this big, huge ash tree has many babies. So I will let as many of these grow as want to grow. So this tree will be replaced. This massive tree will be replaced by some of its own offspring that will be protected by these holly trees.